very special conversation with a very special friend it is because of his support and uh, his company's support that we've been able to put forward to all of you a very important program last year and this year our mental health conclave focusing on women's health and mental health sanjeev navangul has been a supporter and 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 someone who is a corporate with the he knows which are the important issues he's been forever a huge mentor to me always a pleasure to have him on my show you know big big debates going on uh, sanjeev on mental health and women's health in the country 10th october as we celebrate world mental health day your first thoughts on how important these subjects are women's health and mental health uh, good morning everyone i think first of all uh, i wish everybody great mental health and korea you are very kind but you are an icon in sports media and we all uh, are very happy to associate with you uh, look i think uh, whatever we do in life if our minds are not stable if we do not feel comfortable in our surroundings in what we want to do the outputs are always lower in fact in every setting that we have seen whether it is home or in office or in the sports field if people have a much better mental health their outcomes are far far better even a patient in the hospital we have seen that if he or she is cheerful they recover faster so for happiness in life for everyday life for doing better performance for having you done your best for everything mental health is so crucial and we are seeing a lot of it happening now you know uh, i'll give you a very simple example i think in the last couple of years of pandemic that we saw a lot of uh, work from home started but i don't know whether people realize that the traffic to the psychologist or a counselor increased 6 to 7 times why did that happen there is a direct correlation between lack of interaction with people having uh, a social feeling all that has resulted into a factor that people had to literally you know uh, uh, run to the counselor to get their mental health uh, in a better shape so uh, let's not ignore this issue absolutely and and what you just mentioned you know that sort of brings me to my next question that finally there is talk about these subjects in india so far anybody you can you are happily talking about your body i have fever i have an issue but the moment it's about the mind and mental health it's like no 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 i can't talk about this in the public domain there was always a taboo that needs to be addressed more of these conversations and i can see sports people some of them will be on our conclave abhinav bindra uh, tejashwin shankar mudi sri shankar they will all be on our conclave they are talking about it thoughts on that people opening up on these issues absolutely i think uh, you know clearly if you have an internal injury or internal bleeding you still need a scan this is the mental bleeding and people have to realize that uh, you, you know it is it is that important that we need to understand that it is equally important that we need to deal with it uh, you talked about uh, supreme athletes look you know when you talk about the skill you realize the skill you write a lot worry about the skills but in the end you always mention how they are mentally strong how they are tough why do you say that so it is important that people talk about it if we talk about the benefits of mental health we should talk about the issues related to mental health uh the stigma is going away which is what we are seeing in the medical world the people are more approaching uh, with more confidence to the medical community saying that it's fine it's okay that i feel depressed or i don't feel okay it's fine you know i think the ability for the other person to understand that this person is going through some trauma or difficulty is also something that you know people are ready to accept now so what you mentioned boria is very true that the stigma going away the people feeling more aware of this issue and therefore trying to come out and say that okay i have a problem is actually a very very good thing and we should need a lot of ambassadors to talk about it you know the the point that you just mentioned it's okay not to be okay is 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 what i am taking from this conversation in your own corporate environment in bsv in bharat serum and vaccines how how is this issue being dealt with i mean i'm sure there is corporate pressure there is pressure in every every professional domain how do you people address such an issue so bsv like any other corporate has business pressures and lots of them all the time sometimes there are business pressures in our area in fact in bsv we have more pressure of ensuring that the patient gets what he or she needs 
so there is even more pressure because it's their health and life that is concerned so people are always on the edge the second issue that we have is when we have these pressures it is good to explain so we create we have created an environment where we continuously explain that we are in a pious business we are doing good we are doing society service to society in a way which is required therefore first of all feel good about it so to create that atmosphere secondly what we do is really create a lot of flexibility around work to ensure that people feel comfortable if somebody's child has to go to school and they have to drop the child and come late it's fine you know let's not make discipline an issue over mental health and i think this is a big change in corporates that people are realizing that uh, time table and discipline versus mental health of employees mental health of employees are bigger at bsp we also have a anonymous self line you know a help line where people can come and talk about their issues in private deal with the counselors and we see a steady traffic there too so clearly people have issues they might be personal they might be professional they might be related to their careers they might relate to anything but it affects them so creating environment of safety second ensuring explaining the corporate ethos and why we are doing a particular thing and three doesn't matter if you have a problem we are ready to help you out with flexibility and with professional help these are the three things at bsp which we are trying to do final question before i uh, we've also spoken to a number of athletes and i will toss uh, to to some of our interactions with the athletes so watch the the second half of the show as well but uh, sanjeev final question and this is slightly critical i mean take the time of the pandemic take that particular medicine amphotericin b you guys were the only producers india had serious shortage at that point in time now clearly a patient wants that medicine the supply is not there or uh, not adequately there and the patient party calls and because he or she is stressed out they are they have a mental health issue and and why you guys want to help everybody wants to help it is just not there and obviously then the patient calls and says oh you did not help my my family member get treated it can create trauma on the part of the the person concerned how do you uh, uh, sort of deal with such situations of extreme mental stress i think you are uh... this is this was a very very stressful time for many many uh, reasons so first of all doing your best and ensuring that you can really try your best to meet demand is something that is paramount to your job secondly setting up systems to ensure that customers are heard so we created a helpline or a, a call line we created you know social handles to ensure people can reach to us in fact we went out of the way to say you people reach us if you have a problem if you don't don't get the drug so in the company everybody felt that they are doing the right thing secondly yes i think we got a lot of traumatic calls uh, we got a lot of traumatic messages i think the first thing we used to do is explain what we are trying to do first on a micro scale explain everything that we are trying to do secondly tell them that how we are partnering with the government to ensure the best possible that we can do and we tell them that look at the first opportunity what we can do is this 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 and we will get back to you the log is to be maintained and we is to actually get back to people so today when i get calls back people actually call us and say you are the only company who used to do this and say call back if you could help not help if you had a problem you were very very kind and fair about everything you did not do any mischief you did not play uh, you know uh, what can i say favorites anywhere and therefore goodwill that we attained during that time is something which was dramatic so i think we, what people took back as employees was the fact that they were of service to the nation and in that case the trauma or the impact that people had on their mental uh, pressures that they had was a medal to be you know put around their neck saying that it's fine you know i am i was happy to do this because i did something for my country fantastic i mean such a great answer to sort of round up this discussion he mentioned medal around his neck Uh, around their necks and now two people who actually have medals around their neck at the Asian Games talking about these mental health challenges take a listen because this is a conclave with a difference we are addressing issues that are not addressed generally or conventionally in india on mental health day thanks to bsv thanks to sanjeev navangul in particular thank you very much sanjeev for your time and now hear from our athletes talking about pranoy um, of course it needs a lot of mental strength you know to be not 100% physically and then uh, get back so uh, is there something specific that you do for, uh, to ensure that uh, players mental health you know stays better or gets better 
remember i think uh, having played this long uh, in a long career with so many injuries i think he's way, figured a way to kind of balance his emotion and his physical um staying power on court so yes we do some work but i think uh, he, he has matured over time to understand his body and his mind and he's also also pulled out so many matches from being down and out uh, by the sheer will power to kind of get back that it's almost even in a dire situation he almost sees an opportunity to get back how how does as a player you know uh, can someone keep themselves going and also as a coach how do you kind of try to bring the best out of them and talk about mentally well i think it's important that uh, you celebrate what you have um, rather than uh, think about what you missed out i think uh, you need to be happy and uh, i think uh, the secret is that you need to enjoy the process not just think about the result at the end of the day because it's a long long tour it's always on tour and i think you have to figure your mistakes you have to correct your mistakes on to the side so the only way is if you enjoy the process if you start looking at the results all the time then definitely you'll have a bad patch at some point of time and if you start focusing on that then you messed up the whole equation thank you so much sir for uh, your time